What is the best martial art for self-defense? It's judo, Muay Thai, kickboxing. MMA is the best. Come on, guys. MMA is even the martial art. It's like if you ask me what's your favorite food, and I say all food is good. And this is like MMA. MMA is mixed martial art, like combined all martial arts. So, what is the best martial art for the streets or for street fighting or for self-defense or if you want to fight in the club? I don't know. First of all, I don't really know. I only did judo my whole life. That's the reason why I cannot speak for other sports like MMA, like for karate, like for kickboxing. I never did this sport, so I have only a good opinion about judo. But I have to admit that I have some positive experience with judo on the street. If you guys didn't know, I'm from the police. There were some times I used judo techniques. I did some takedowns and cuffed the person, so it was actually really um, good techniques because I didn't really do big damage to my opponent, but I didn't really use a lot of judo techniques because a lot of problems can be solved with, just with speaking. De-escalate with your words the situation. So yeah, what is now the best martial art for the street? 99% of the time there will be no fair situation. Like someone is aggressive to you, they always have a knife, a weapon, or they have uh, some friends with them. So there will never be like the one versus one situation. In general, someone who wants to fight you, he's an advantage. Like he has a weapon or has his friends next to him. Or they will fight dirty. And now some, some people will say, oh, this is cheating, that's, uh, that, that's not honorable. I have to tell you a secret. There is no cheating on the street because we have no rules on the street. Like if you say that was a dirty move or a bad move, no, it isn't. So everything is possible. My general advice to you is like, run away if there is a fight. There are many reasons. First of all, it's your life. You don't know if he has a weapon or something like that in his pocket. Even if your ego is really big, you should run away and don't fight at all. The second reason, you could get really big problems. Like, what happens if you push someone and he falls unluckily on his head and he's dying then maybe you you will be charged for attempting murder who knows because the fight will never promise you something good okay maybe you win but at what costs at most of the time something bad happens during a fight like you damage the person you, you destroyed some some property but i know you guys you just want me to say what is the best martial art and in general martial art is really good for you first of all you, you train your body physically you have more muscles, you know how to use your muscles. Like in judo, in wrestling, in boxing, kickboxing, MMA, you train your body really good. I don't know if it's an Aikido or Karate like that, because I never see someone from Aikido or Karate with a big body or big muscles. You have much more self-confidence. Like if there, if there would be a situation where somebody don't, don't like you, he wants to fight you, you know you can beat his ass. Like, because in martial art, you fight like every training, like in judo, it's normal that you fight like 10 times in a training, like doing runnery, doing sparring, like you're getting some confidence from that. And I can remember when I was in school that nobody want, wanted to fight me because they knew that I did judo. It could be that I, I wasn't really strong, could be a possibility, they wanted to test me because they, had re they respected my sport, my respected judo. You train your body, you're getting stronger, you, you, you know how to use your body. People respect you because you have a bigger body, you have good muscles, you have experience. And the third, re um, third reason is you have self-confidence. The pros, like the best martial artists, they never fight. Normally the people who want to fight, like with the weapons, with the nun, they aren't no experienced martial artists or they don't do any sports. Sports in general make, make a person or make a man calm, calmer. You put your whole energy into the training, so in normal life you don't have so much energy. <laughs> Still, my opinion is judo is best because you know how to fight on the ground, you know how to fight from the standing position. And I think there's no classical fist fight in real life, like it's always like you're going to the clinch or someone goes to the leg and then you're making some grappling. On the other side, if there are a lot of people who are fighting, it's not so smart to go into the ground because they will just will kick you on the head. So it's really depending on the situation. Like I said at the beginning, the smartest move would be just one way. And this was it with the video. If you have some other idea about what subject I could speak, just write it into the comments. I would like to make some longer videos, not only the shorts on YouTube, but also longer videos. I guess there's nothing more to say. Bye. Huh?